Okay, next uh, challenge for 10 minutes, try to do it. This time it's cuatro cartos, four corners. Everyone already knows how to block, how to defend yourself, especially in these stages of this level. So we know how to block with salubong. For example, this is cuatro cartos, salubong means meeting the force, meeting the force, meeting the force, meeting the force. Okay, so if you close it up, if you close uh, in, this will be an escudo. This will be an escudo for here. This can be a ticlo, a taquero. Then this can be a ticlo. Then this is a escudo. Escudo, taquero, taquero, a ticlo, then escudo. This can be a taquero. When you do it like this, ticlo pabanga or sikwat. Taquero pabanga or taquero pasikwat. Sure, trying to close it. Okay? So, but for now, let's practice how to do the cuatro cantos, then how to do it properly with the uh, combination. Okay? So, most of the guys will practice like this. They will block and then counter with one or two or three. I don't want you to stop. I don't want you to stop. Uh, I want you to use on striking multiple times or multiple strikes. And don't stop unless he feeds you. For example, if I feed you like this, then you strike one, two, three, then you stop. That's for me nonsense. In our mind, we want to develop from how to finish a fight, not how to train just strictly training. We want to maintain the form. We wanted to maintain the proper footwork and proper positioning. We wanted to maintain the proper striking or form of the strike. But we wanted to put in our mind to finish the fight and don't stop unless your opponent is done. Okay? So, uh, this is just purely basic principles for me. Not, not necessarily for Master Medi, not necessarily for other instructors. But my views is here. If I strike, he strike me, then one, two, and three. I don't know if one of those will land or the first part will land, but the second and third might not. And I'm not gonna stop because I want to finish a fight, so I'm not gonna follow you, step forward, and strike you, and continue the fight there, and bring you down, or finish you. So instead of just one, two, three, then I'll stop because I'll, I'll uh, actually, train myself to after the three strike I'll stop no they, they, they said this this the way you train is the way you will fight and the way you you strategize your, uh, your fighting can be possible and uh, a good or bad outcome so you need to train it if you want to stop then practice moving backward okay but if you don't move backward Oh, and you will want to finish a fight. You, you can stay here, but make sure that you're striking continuously or move forward. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start here with the ball. Imagine somebody was gonna strike me with the number one, I'm gonna hit him on the hands, or if you want to hit him on the stick, this is the, the problem. No, I want to hit the hands and I don't want this down there. But the point is this. If I strike somebody hitting me here and striking forcefully, this one will stop. It won't gonna play like this. But if I strike it like just stop it, I just want to stop it. Okay, for example, this no. It will if they strike from this and you want to stop it, just put something here, which is I'm gonna block. But this if his strike is really powerful, it will be like this. If I strike him, block it here then he is he have, he have, his hand will be like this but if you strike it forcefully this will happen okay his hand will be like this your force will stop not like this so not he won't gonna hit you unless his strike is more powerful than your strike there's no we can do there's nothing we can do about that so even you black it uh, right, but if the strike is really powerful, it will gonna push through and you will gonna be hit. Okay, so practice this one and two, three and four. So, four corners, 
first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Okay? Now try to practice it. When you strike here, move. If you strike in the low, move. If you strike here, move. If you strike here, I'm gonna move here. I won't gonna go inside for now if you're not trained for that. So try to practice hitting go away from him, strike him. Okay, go one, two, three, four. Now try to do any series of combination. It's all up to you, but I want you to do it continuously. And for example, one, imagine that somebody's striking you here, two, don't stop. Imagine somebody striking you here. Four. One. Slow it down. Okay, so that's long range of Salubong. Okay? Then, after that, for at least five minutes, try to practice it with your left hand. Okay, this is salubong, guys. You start with salubong. It's easy to do it. So, for example, after you've done with salubong, you can do it with bagsak. One, two. Then, three, four. Instead of doing it like this, one, two, three, no, so what, what I want is one, finish, good work, two, without stopping, imagine I'm, somebody's going to strike me here, three, boom, then somebody's going to strike me here, four, I want to start this, one, okay, so that's the idea. Try to practice it.